me here. When I saw you with Ensel in the well, I ran. But it wasn't because mm. I was afraid. I was coming to report that Hughes's experiment had succeeded. The Well of Souls is bigger than just one gnome's pet project. My contact pays well for information about its progress. I just send reports to make some money on the side. But I don't know how the Tawatha found out. This has nothing to do with them. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. Pay me and you'll live. It's your full time to die. I promise you, if I knew who it was, I'd tell you. Sharing research is one thing, but academic sabotage is a crime! Thank you, thank you! Here, take this. It's the pay for my last report. I don't want anything to do with it. I'm going back home to Odessa. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work. Hmm. Or Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. You, you're the one. Then that means it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. <laughs> They're coming.
poodle man. <laughs> this is brutal. No, you're gonna die. What? How? What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? Because I'm the world. Hughes may have brought you back to life, but that was still part of fate's plan. Nothing short of a god can do what you did. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. <laughs> it's a gift. Some people paint landscapes, other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. Oh. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. Gnomes. That's fine, but you don't have to. I can see that you're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your thread in the weave of fate. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much. <laughs> where well, I'm standing in front of you. I'm Maria, you must be drunk. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. I just don't have this a fate. doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. Yes, that's right. Do you know why? It's really easy. Because I'm my fate is to lay around like a fat ass. Fatless one. Brawler. Well, that's all right. Sorcery. Sorcery. And you force and use against you into your own magical energy. 
Battle Mage Champion. Jesus Christ. I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. The terrible at this. Damn it, it's the truth. At least, <laughs> I think it is. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, <laughs> but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. The Tawatha aren't like any fae I've ever known. They're cruel, bloodthirst, why, they're practically human. Hughes was always an odd one. Curious and determined as any of his kind, sure. He never shut up about his work. But he always knew what was important. He didn't worry about dying as long as he knew he'd get the well working. The Fate Weavers were once a great, unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies of kings and gods. But that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news. And all the news in the world is getting worse. The order sprinted long ago. Now the old traditions are all but lost. And all I foretell is the fate of my beer. And I see it being empty soon. We are all threads in the tapestry of fate. Measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Our title always was a bitter lie, since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. But you do. And when a fate weaver looks at your place in the weave, we see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yeovan. Had to move there when he got run out of town. He's a damned good fate weaver. But that doesn't make you very popular. Especially not in dark days like these. You wanna know what's wrong with your fate? Your fate is... You're going to become an earthworm. That's right. Once I was Agar, the destiny. Unyielding. The blade of Avgrum. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fey. I was a hero of men. But that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out fate is the one thing I couldn't fight. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. But that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. Use this piece of trash. What could this all mean? Item reward.
What the fuck? Welcome to Odorath. You know, 45 minutes to explore Odorath in the lands of Dalentorth. The timer halts when you pause the demon or in a conversation. Take your time when talking to the NPCs. <laughs> fuck, I must hurry. Fuck. In the east, right? That way. Run, 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 run. Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She <laughs> is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. No what? Just weak as fuck. <laughs> Everyone, just stand back. The Warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. Aye. Keep moving. This business doesn't concern you. Unless you're an expert scholar on the Fae, I'd suggest you move along. No reason to be out in the open with the Red Legion about. I don't know if you noticed, but St. Audwig's mission closed its gate moments before that Fae's body turned up on the road. I don't like what that suggests. Not at all. I'd never seen one of them until a day or so ago. It appears that a small group of warriors ventured inland to strike behind our lines. Believe the stories, friend. The Twath of Mad. They have been touched by a dark magic. They are wholly corrupted and they are the enemy. I like it. The brothers of St. Odwigs are an odd sort. Scurrying back and forth across the mission like squirrels gathering nuts. I wonder what goes on behind those closed doors. You're talking about bandits, too much. but no ordinary bandits. Surely you've heard of Red the Dead Edward. They say he drinks the blood of his captives, that he consumes their souls. What's or a woman doing behind rumors. there? Is she waving or you something? You should be fine if you stay inside the village. Once you go beyond the boundaries of Gorhart, however, your life is in your hands. Uh, what's happening with the graphics in the, in the background? Look at the woman in the background. Uh. What are they? I'm not sure, but they've been here for longer than any of us can imagine. They're older than the trees. They have to be. They grew them. Humans and immortals cannot live together in peace, at least not forever. The peace we have with the Summer Court is unnatural. That's my opinion. You might call it a Fey Nation, one of two united factions that rule their kind. The Summer Court are not exactly allies, but they do let us be most of the time. It's the other Fey, the Winter Court, that has spawned the dreaded Tuatha, a vicious clan of killers who wish to defeat and enslave all mortals. Sounds good to me. Are you playing a trick on me? 
I would hope so. We're going on ten years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. Normally I'd decry the bloodshed, but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. What's the guy behind me doing? He's like a, a stone, not moving at all. Is he even breathing? Jesus Christ. I need a drink. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a Fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days. But it's not their way to go after the Fey in the area. They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west. So that's also a possibility. It's unlikely though. Well, it's a guy in the background. With staggers. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. <laughs> Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Peaceful Fey make up the tribe. That's about all I know. Little more. Our fate rests in the hands of a few chosen who fight in the east. You wouldn't even know it in Gorhart. We're miles away from the smoke and the screams. I've spent most of my life dealing with them, but they aren't like us. Not at the core. They don't know what it means to be a man who sweats to feed his family. Gorhart has become a sort of refuge for those settlers mm. who wish to live a life free of Fey. I don't see that lasting. Not with the war. Not with everything changing. What's with his eyes? When I when I his right eye goes to na to to the right, and his left eye goes to the left. <laughs> Duh. We keep a precarious peace with the Court of Summer, one that's tested every day. I lie awake at night worrying what kind of disaster awaits me in the morning. But we're a good community full of good people. We have our eccentrics, sure, but we work hard and live quietly. That's the best anyone can do these days. Look to the NPC in the background. Do you see the, those legs? They're really thin, man. And if I am talking about thin, then I mean thin. I'm the warden like of Gorhart, and a poor one at that. I've been back from the war for only six months and been warden for less than two. Now here I am with an injured fay on my doorstep. Isn't that the guy from the disgrace? Intro? I've seen many bandit clans in the Crystal War, and yeah, the Red yeah. Legion has been a presence in the area for several weeks now. I don't know what the Tuatha would be. They're a wicked breed, though, and I pity the man who. Bye now. Quests. Hello. Hey there. Cut. 
down the brothers of St. Odwigs. Only when they fall to Earth will they realize they are not above us. Help me to expose the mission for what it truly is. A prison of ideas in which they hope to keep us locked away forever. But I tell you, Welcome. your mind must not be caged. Can I look at the map? Oh no! Need something? Need to hurry if I want to save her. Welcome to St. Odwig's Perpetual Mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. The first bricks were laid 50 years ago by Odwig himself, before his demise at the hands of the Alas, yeah, yeah. we have yet to convert a single. I have been with the mission since its founding. These boys are like my The Fae are stubborn fools. They treat we at St. Odwig's have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears. And many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. Yeah, yeah. We must find him before anything happens. <gasps> Odorath is a savage land. Every day we must face both the beasts of... I fear for Brother Egan's soul. He knows nothing. Mitharu be praised. Brother Egan was... Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the... He's a good boy. I tried my best to comfort him and tell him that... 